Vadim, a resident of Antelope, California, spent his formative years in the Golden State after his family immigrated from Ukraine. As a teenager, he met Natalia, who was also originally from Ukraine. The two fell in love and eventually married in 2012. After their wedding, they became proud parents to two young daughters, Maya and Vanessa. To support his family, Vadim worked as a truck driver while Natalia stayed home to care for their children. In early 2017, Vadim took a long-distance job that required a drive to New York. He departed in late January from Truckee Parkway, California. However, during the journey, he began to experience pain in his mouth, prompting him to make a brief stop in Oklahoma to visit a local dentist. After an examination, Vadim was diagnosed with a tooth infection, which the dentist treated. He was also prescribed antibiotics before being sent on his way. Feeling relieved and in better condition, Vadim continued his journey on the road. Unfortunately, the toothache returned and Vadim's discomfort worsened as he made his way toward New York, a concern he shared with Natalia in several phone calls. Despite the growing pain, the father of two managed to complete the trip and arrived in New York. By then, however, his mouth had become swollen, intensifying his pain. Realizing he was in no condition to drive back to California, there was a bit of relief. Vadim's brother flew to New York to assist him. Once Vadim's brother arrived, the two got back on the road, heading for California. Unfortunately, Vadim's condition deteriorated further during the trip. His skin had lost color, and he was struggling to breathe. His brother made an emergency stop in Utah and took Vadim to a hospital. Vadim was then transferred to a clinic in Salt Lake City, where he received further treatment including kidney dialysis. It turned out that the infection from Vedim's tooth had spread to other parts of his body, including his lungs. With the situation looking bleak, Natalia rushed to Utah to be by her husband's side. Tragically, on the morning of January 30, 2017, Vadim passed away due to the infection. The doctors tried everything they could, Natalia later told the Sacramento Bee. We prayed for him day and night, hoping he would survive, but God had other plans, we spoke to the doctors and they explained what had happened. The infection just wasn't healing the way it was supposed to. It kept getting worse, Natalia added. She also discovered that Vadim had been suffering from diabetes, a condition that can exacerbate dental issues. Diabetes is a known risk factor for tooth decay and gum disease, as noted by the American Dental Association. There are numerous studies indicating that people with diabetes are at greater risk for cavities, tooth decay, periodontal disease, and cardiovascular problems. Dr. Richard Niederman of the NYU College of Dentistry explained to People magazine in 2017 how a tooth infection can turn deadly. Yes, while such a condition may initially appear fairly innocuous, any kind of untreated infection can prove to be catastrophic and tragically for Vadim's family, that's exactly what happened to him. Any infection anywhere in the body can lead to death if it's uncontrolled, Dr. Niederman continued. So if you have an infection in the tooth, that infection eats away of the tooth, it's a bacterial infection, so it released acid and the acid etches the tooth just as it etches glass. Dr. Niederman added over time that etching becomes a hole that hole gets to pulp the nerves and the blood vessel, and now the bacteria can enter the body. According to Natalia, Vadim had visited the dentist shortly before his death, but it was for a different tooth issue. Dr. Niederman believed that the situation could have been avoided if the infection had been detected earlier. There are home and office methods to prevent these kinds of issues, but they are often underused, particularly by dentists. Dr. Niederman told People, this was likely an ongoing problem that wasn't addressed in time. And Natalia Brother would go on to shed some light on how she was coping after Vadim's sudden passing. Unsurprisingly, the heartbreaking events of those few days have taken a heavy toll on Natalia. She's doing okay, her brother, Vlad Kolasimars, told people, but it's been really hard for her. To help alleviate some of the burden, Vlad set up a GoFundMe page for Natalia and her family on the day of Vadim's death. The campaign, with a target of $250,000, honored Vadim's memory. Vadim was a humble and calm person, a wonderful father, husband, brother, son, and friend, Vlad wrote. He always put others before himself and was a peacemaker. He had a very special relationship with his two daughters, and he loved spending time with his family. Vlad outlined how the funds would be used. 
Your donations will go toward funeral and living expenses, as well as establishing a safety net for the future well-being of Vadim's young family. Additionally, the funds will help cover the cost of transporting his body back to Sacramento, California for the funeral and burial. The response to the GoFundMe appeal was overwhelming. Within days, the campaign raised nearly $200,000. Vlad later returned to the page to express the family's gratitude. On behalf of Natalia, her daughters, and the entire family, we sincerely thank you for your support during this difficult time, he wrote. We have been deeply moved by the love and kindness shown by our friends, family, community, and even strangers. Vadim was laid to rest in a Sacramento cemetery on the morning of February 4, 2017. The night before, a memorial service was held at the Slavic Trinity Church, where many gathered to honor and remember him. Since his passing, the GoFundMe campaign has raised nearly $280,000, far exceeding its original goal. What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.